You know, he's so famous. People actually think he's Ryan Seacrest. I think it's because of the hair, but I'm not kidding, honestly. The kids at Barristow Elementary think he is Ryan Seacrest. It's hilarious. No, true story. Thank you for Ryan Seacrest. What's really sad is he lets them believe it. He does not tell them the truth. You know, um, I have lived in Vernon my entire adult life. But if you were not born here, you are a newcomer. How about our new mayor? You know, there are a lot of folks who wish he was still a doctor, sticking his finger up other people's butts. Especially about 30 firefighters in Okanagan Land, who feel completely screwed by him right now. You know, some of you know that I've thought about politics as maybe the, my future career. A lot of people say, if I didn't stand up, it will ruin my chances for politics. Seriously, if you don't have a sense of humor as a politician, you are not going to survive. And who needs a sense of humor more than a politician? Other than maybe a cop or a lawyer or Brian Martin, because I'm constantly picking on him. So here we go. People want to know about the man phrase. Okay, the truth is, the guy's just short. The shorts are long. His legs are short. They hang really low. He had to come up with a cool name. He stole it from the Sears catalog. <laughs> It's sad, isn't it? It's true, though. Okay, don't tell them I said that. And, you know, the hair, it's true. No matter how late he sleeps in, he gets up and uses the ultra-molding mud. His hair, even with headphones, never moves. That's his little secret, molding mud. And, you know, he's always talking about taking off his clothes. You hear it on the, on the show all the time. And, you know, he's kind of, like, what is the same as a three-year-old? You know, working with Brian Martin is like working with a three-year-old. That's what everybody says. Well, have you not heard three-year-olds like take off their clothes and say, look at my pee-pee? Yeah, that's Brian Martin. He loves his boy parts. He does. And the man boobs, he's always ready to take off his shirt. Vivacious Vicky will vouch for me. We're always begging him not to. Do not take off the shirt. He, he has the man boobs. No, I'm not sure if it's because he's been eating a lot of that XL Foods beef, or, you know, that prairie chicken that they force feed all those, you know, ucky stuff into that makes you grow huge boobs as a teenage girl. It's working for Brian Martin as well. What do you think Undercover Essentials always wants him to do their own location? <laughs> men a lot though, and I'm constantly noticing the difference between men and women. And they're a couple. Let's not kid ourselves. Okay, where to start? <laughs> How about uh, driving? Okay, this is a true story. Last winter, we get a call from a guy who's driving down Alexis Park Road, a drive, who wants to tell us He says, and I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> now a woman would never say that, because women know parking lots are for donuts, and it's probably Tim Hortons because we're always multitasking. <laughs> okay, here's another difference, GPS. You know, if you have an iPhone, you, these are, this is old technology, but my husband still has a GPS. Now women just program it, we trust it's gonna take us where we wanna go. Men are like, I'm not really sure. 
And my husband hates that Aris has a female voice. As a matter of fact, sometimes he shuts it off. Well, that's not true. He asked me to do it because he has never read an instruction book for anything in his life. <laughs> you know, one thing I've learned from the impossible question is that everything with men always comes back to sex. Everything. <laughs> There's one guy in the house tonight. All right. But what I don't get is like, what's with all the ridiculous names? Like, get lucky. I want to save my luck for the lottery, the casino. I'm pretty sure I can have sex without having to waste my luck. <laughs> the men, the women thing. You know, when you've been married as long as I have, when your husband wants to do something spontaneous, you should be suspicious. So one day this summer he calls me, he's like, are you almost finished work? I was like, yeah. He's like, I thought maybe we'd go to Kelowna for the afternoon. I'm thinking, aw, that'd be great. Maybe we'll have lunch on a patio, a little romantic afternoon. That sounds so good. So we're driving to Kelowna, we're having a nice little conversation. The whole time I'm thinking, ah, I wonder where he's taking me. I can't wait, but I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I'm not going to ask. So now we're just into the city, and he says to me, I need to stop at Princess Auto. I, you know, I made him pay though. <laughs> I did spend an hour at the mall alone. <laughs> and he never checks the visa bill. So, I wanted to talk more about the aging and the difference between men and women and the little funny things that we do. For example, you know, as, as we age our bodies change. You know, we get a little thick in the middle. Men get the beer belly usually. Seriously, a guy recently told me, I'm a solid 243. Are you kidding me? And then he told me how old he was. Well, for starters, I am never telling you my weight. I will tell you I lost half a pound last week, but I am not telling you the number. I'm not even going to tell the doctor the number. But here's a little piece of advice. If it involves anesthetic, you might want to tell the doctor the number. <laughs> True story. But I'm here. I'm well. I'm okay. I survived. The age thing? No, no, no. You have got to defy that age thing. Just pick a number. It doesn't really matter. But don't tell people the truth, though. Think you're getting old. Now, as I mentioned, the middle, after the eyes, the middle starts to go. It happens to the best of us. But there are these amazing things called spanks. Yes, you ladies know. Yeah. My mom would have called them an expensive girdle, and she was right. Because I once paid more for a pair of spanks than the silk dress I was wearing over them. And here's another little piece 
piece of advice, ladies. If you ever need to wear the Spanx, don't get the fake nails. Because you cannot roll that sausage tube up with the fake nails. You are going to need help, and that is not, no, it's very embarrassing. You call your neighbor, hey, can you come help me put on my Spanx? It's not good, not good, no. But they do have the effect of giving you a boob job. Like, once you push all that up here, the girls look good. The best example I can think of is Christina Aguilera. I mean, I don't know what space she's wearing, but she might want to reconsider that. Here's another little interesting tidbit. Now, the woman who started Spanx started that company with 5,000 bucks. This year she made Forbes billionaire list from our vanity. Now that's a smart woman, but it's sad state of affairs for women, isn't it? Now, you know, women don't always do a lot to keep the fire going in the bedroom. I know this. Come on, some of you shave your legs because it's volleyball night, not for the hot sex you're going to have later. I've also learned that men could care less if you're a hairy beast. <laughs> Sad but true. You know, and I understand as you age, you know, the sex life, it starts to go as well, so I'm told. Why do you think you see so many old women in the casinos? <laughs> and are they screaming they win 200 bucks? Not quite like when Harry met Sally, but everybody knows they got lucky. <laughs> What's really hilarious to me is they forgot they put 100 bucks in to start. They're really only up 100 bucks, but they're excited. Once again, the difference between men and women, you won't hear men screaming in the casino they won. Sir, true story, in Vegas a little while ago, old guy sitting at this progressive machine and the lights are going and craziness is happening. So I say to him, wow, what'd you win? He goes, I won the progressive, uh, round 12,000. I was like, you're kind of quiet. His wife was over playing the penny machine. He didn't want her to know he won in case she wasn't going to win. Seriously. Hilarious. But here's what I really want to know. What can I do at 75 years old with 200 bucks that makes me scream?